Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light. Now, let me quickly look. I have 24 spirit or skill. So they're not quite done yet, but let's pull probably all of them out just because the last one is actually a really good. And we will probably use it in it, so that's going to get levels up anyway. So I guess other than that, I can just put in whatever I want now. But I might actually do it by enhance ability. Just so I can have some enhanced stuff done. Uh, but I have to put in stuff that will be enhanced and not. Probably that. Probably not that. Maybe. I don't know. Let's just put in some stuff and it should be fine. And also, we can check the caves, because they are back. And also the ruins, because the ruins is good. How is the ruins? What rewards do we get? Find anything? 600 SP. That's actually pretty good. So we can actually just mine SP from this, as well as levels. Let's send away some people. Okay, get some more SP and levels. And let's check on the caves now. And get some items that we can't use at the moment. A little bit of SP, so that's usable. And there are snacks as well, so... Not that we've used a ton of snacks. Oh, I needed to put people back into that. Why did I cancel out? I need to go back in. I know what I'm doing. Okay, let's send you. Let's send you. And you. And... I guess pet. Go pet, I believe in you. All level 1 spirits that are good at getting levels from this experience, so it should be good. And now, we can actually go looking around at things that we can do. Starting off with Mr. Sandman, playing as Donkey Kong. The floor is sleep inducing, so I want to avoid that. The enemy's smash attacks have increased power, stamina battle. Okay. Do that, and let's do that, I guess. And let's go. Also, I should probably check the, the levels of uh, the spirit that we've been training up in the dojo, and it's at level 97, so it should be pretty good at this point. Get smashed. Come on. Ow. Ow. Take that. Oh, the floor is sleeping dosing down here. That's interesting. That's a really weird way to do it, but I can understand why. Get smashed. Come on, you have, have so little HP left. It's a good thing you're not going to launch me. Goodbye. Victory! Fist attack up. And a new fighter, Little Mac, which makes sense. Uh, but just quickly, I want to pull out that and then check. Um, what is it? By power descending. Okay, that's green. But also, it's not quite as strong as that one. But it does have strong throw, which might be good. And that one's pretty close as well, with shooting attack up. But it's not quite there, though, is it? If a, if a spirit has over 10,000 power, it's actually well worth it, so... It's basically the ultimate that it will ever be. This is probably a little bit of overkill against Lil Mac, but that's okay. Ready? Lil Mac is not a good character for recovery. 
as far as I remember. Ow. Can I actually aim in the correct direction, please? Oh, you fool. You tried to block me and I absolutely destroyed you. Okay. So now that that's done, I think we should head up this way towards the forest again. In the woods. I think. Did we actually do this dungeon yet? I can't remember. Let me just quickly check. I probably... I did do that, okay. A lot of things have happened in between episodes, so I, I don't remember anything. Well, instead of that then, let me figure out how to get out of here. And let's actually go up further this way, I guess. There's a few spirits along this path that I can take care of, starting off with Bokoblin, playing his tiny King K. Rule team. Um, guess I can take whatever into this fight. They're not very strong, so it's probably going to be fairly simple. Oh my goodness, this song. Ow. Come on, get launched. There we go. Cool. Battering items power up. It's a good thing that I'm doing every fight because it means I get all the skill orbs. Or skill spheres, because the skill trees are super necessary. Enemy favors neutral specials, the enemy is easily distracted by items. Let's go, Shy Guy. Playing as Brawler, all the Me Fighters types. Okay, okay. Gonna copy you, I guess. Ow. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Goodbye. I just love Kirby's little mask that he has on his head. Fist attack up. Another sphere. Okay. And last one on this little path here. Expresso. The stage platforms are very slippery. The enemy has increased movement speed, and the enemy falls slowly. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if... Uh, the type of, if there's a type advantage to having... Neutral characters, or primary spirits. Rather than... The... Red, blue, and green ones. Trade-off speed up. Cost of one. Start battles with 30% damage and increased movement speed. That's an interesting trade-off. Okay then. Now, is there anything over this way that I missed? No, I've already got all that. And all that. And everything is looking super clean right now. I was completely clean. Just need to take out a few more things. Starting off with Rock Mario playing as Metal Jigglypuff. Enemy's neutral special has increased power. The enemy favors neutral specials. The enemy is metal. So metal. Uh, what do I need to be? Blue. Uh, it's, it's... I'm confusing myself at this point with those names, but it's okay. I just need to remember that green is good... The, the items is good against shield and shield is good against attack. It should be that easy, but I, for some reason it's not for me. Because my brain, instead of going to what is the actual type name, is what is the type color. And I don't know how that's going to help. Also, this is quite sad for this Jigglypuff. But I do like that, uh, that battlefield in that form. Physical attack up. And two skill spheres. 
from a random spirit. That's pretty cool. That's a good thing. Build up pretty quickly. And we get 3,000 spirit points. So that can be good. And there's also a fighter over there that we can get to if we can actually get to it. So let's go through the pipe. So we can get over there. Okay, wow, where am I going? Also, what's with the little thing above here? Is that something or is that nothing? Guess I have to look around to see if there's any tree chests up here. And that will tell me. Any disconnected from anything tree chests, that is. Doesn't look like there is, so that's probably nothing. It just looks like a cave with a path coming out of it. So I don't know. It's probably nothing. Okay. Akari Hayami, playing as Wii Fit Trainer. The stage platforms are very slippery. Let's fight. Here we go! Get launched! Oh, you fool. Drop down here, please. I'm taking damage. I'm doing more damage to myself than the, the actual computer. Come on, drop down. Finally! Took you long enough. Impact run. Impact run could be good if I used it. Okay. Absol, playing as Wolf. And we start the battle with a Death Scythe. Um, need... Shield. I, I might be able to actually remember it. I might actually be able to remember it without the actual names. But the names are there just in case I need to actually reboot my brain. Oh, that's a shame. Also, this is a very cool battlefield as well. With the underground bit as well as the up, upper area. Condor, playing as Ridley. That's pretty cool. And there's also Ice Climbers there because it's Ice Climbers. Ice Floor. The main fight, defeat the main fight to the win. Time stamina battle. Okay, well, let's do something about that, and I guess just go in. Ready, go. Oh, that's a timed battle. I need to actually fight Ridley. Please. Good. That's a good start. It's a st also a stamina battle, so that makes things also really weird. But I'm way stronger than this fight, apparently, because they're done already. Strong wind resist. Reduces this effect. But it's a one slot, so that's interesting. But it's not immunity, so... And that's what we really care about. Maybe if you have multiple of a type that just reduces it slightly, it does the whole thing. The path is frozen slot. You'll probably slip if you continue. Um, can I go up this way? Yes, I can. Let's use Bomber Man and get this treasure. Music from Star Fox Assault. Break through the ice. Cool. But anyway, let's actually slip and slide now down to here. And we have choices that we can make now. Um, I think going down to the fighter might not be a bad option. Also, there's a few other things here. I'll come back. Polar Bear. Playing as Donkey Kong. The enemy has super armor, but moves slower. Stamina battle with periodic earthquakes will shake the stage. Let me do something about that. Um, hang on. Does that actually grant immunity to tripping and from earthquakes? Cool. That's what I want, then. Also, I think I had the wrong... No, I had the right type advantage if it's blue against red. Yeah, cool. I'm fine. Oh, I'm actually learning. Go! 
It's a, it's, it's crazy. Also, earthquake apparently. I actually do something. You are jumping around a lot, and that is not a nice thing for you to do. You're actually going crazy with your moves right now. Ow. Earthquake again. And you're getting slammed out of here. What is happening? Super slow armor. Move is more difficult to flinch or be launched, but movement speed de decreases. Two slots. Okay. Could be interesting, but I think it's time now for another fighter. Also, I believe that if you have the DLC, any DLC for any of the fighters, uh, once you get 10 spirits in this mode, you also unlock the, the DLC fighters. Ice Climbers. It's fairly simple. Just show it going with full power. You're a type of disadvantage. Hang on, did I... How did I... I don't know. Green. Which is red. I know what I'm doing. Anyway, Ice Climbers. Just have to defeat the main one to win, I believe. Either one of them does... Hitting either one of them does damage to the whole of it, though, so... Actually, no, that didn't. That's interesting. But you can also take the, the second one out first, which is the one without the computer icon above it. Ow. We both have hammers, come on. Get out of here. I killed the second one first, I think. Cool. Also skill spheres. Many skill spheres. All of the skill spheres. All of the skills. Why isn't it orb? Why can't it be skill orb? I want it to be skill orb. Anyway, we can now... Don't have to worry about the ice because we have the ice climbers. And that makes us able to go up ice, I guess. Because they're ice climbers, you know, it's like ice climb the ice, ice climbers. Anyway, what does this teleporter do? Just puts us back over here, which... Isn't that necessary, but if you don't want to fight the ice climbers, you can do that to get back quickly. But also, once you have the ice climbers, you don't need to worry about it, about it anyway, so... Metal Gear Ray. Metal Greninja. Stamina battle, explosion attacks aren't as effective against the enemy. Enemy is metal. I don't know what to go in with, so I'm just gonna go in like this. Oh, it's a stamina battle. I probably should have done something about that, at least. But I think I should be alright I just take it out. Ow. Okay, goodbye. Victory! Didn't even get to use your final smash. Wait up. So you can be heavier. And now, this is actually pretty cool. We unlock, because of Star Fox characters, space as an area of the map. Which is pretty cool. Um, I think I have most areas actually complete now. The only thing I can't remember if I completed or not was the town over here, which I think I have. Cool, so that's everything on the left side of the map, except for space now. So we're going to clean up space, and then we're going to go over to the right side. Oh my goodness, there's still so much on the right side. If the fog is to be believed. But also there's a fair bit of fog on the left side of the map. That's just not going to go away. So anyway. Let's grab this free treasure. Some snacks. And also, I don't know which way I should go right now. Um, anyway, it works. I guess I should get the fighter though. Starship Mario. Playing as horse, then giant Mario. Gravity is reduced, the enemy is giant. I actually remembered. 
Gonna disable that. I think that's all that I need to know. Yes, cool, let's go. And Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a great game. I really want to play it again, but my copy is scratched. And it's quite unfortunate. Even if it's very different from Mario Galaxy 1, it's still super good and it's got great music. It's basically a DLC for Mario Galaxy 1. Kind of. Just more levels. More music. It's just... It's cool. It's also got more power-ups and... Yeah. Increases jump height. With jump up. I wanna play... I wanna play Super Mario Galaxy 2 again. Aperoid, playing as Metal Ridley. Your jumping power decreases. Oh. The enemy is metal, the enemy has increased jump power. Well, I've already got the high gravity resist thing, so. Also have Metal Killer though, and that'll be good. This thing is gonna get destroyed. Probably. Come on. Come on. It's so high percentage right now. Get launched, get launched, get launched, get launched! How are you not launched? Because you're metal, that's right. I almost forgot about that. Oh boy, that's not good for me. That's really not good for me, but I'm gonna be okay because I'm only 17, 26%. Can I please launch you? You have 300%. Oh, and you can't recover. Cool. <laughs> that works for me. Irreversible controls. Cost of two slots. I'm alright. I'm alright with that. I'm, I'm alright with that. I am alright with that. And who else would it be other than Falco, I guess? <laughs> I feel like it could have been something else, but Falco works since it's in space. Um... Let's go red. I didn't read any of the rules, but it's a fighter, so it doesn't matter because there are no rules. It's just defeat the fighter. Ready, go. Let's go. Let's go, please. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Please. Take that. Please? Oh my goodness, he's gonna be fast. He's gonna be fast. Oh, but I'm fast now. Look at me go, I'm running around. Come on. How did that miss? I'm sad. Oh, that should have hit. Come on. Also, pie. I mean, no, don't grab the pie. That was my pie. Goodbye. He put up a good fight, actually. But now we have Falco. Okay. Very nice. Let me quickly check my skill tree. How many orbs do I have? 77. That's pretty good. I might want to work down this way, maybe. Here with smash attacks. Weapon resists. Spiriting endurance makes it harder to be launched while running. That could also be good. I think, though, I want to head up this way. I've already got that, so that's good. Um, tilt attack. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Might as well. And then, I don't think I can afford anything else that's worth... Makes it easier to get it out of grab. That's worth it. Okay. I don't like getting grabbed, and I'm... I'm very... I don't even know how to grab, so that just shows how little I know about Smash Bros. I don't know. I just never worked it out, so... Trace. 
playing a Samus. The enemy is invisible. Um, okay. It's not very strong, so I should be able to get it if I can actually just figure out where it is. Sometimes you can just see the slight reflection of light on it. Also, it's not invisible yet, so that's good for me. Ow. Ow. Can you come down here, please? Thank you. For an invisible enemy, you didn't do very well. Okay. Where do I go? I guess up this way? Oh, Starman. Cool. Playing as Metal Ness. Starman about to hostile assist trophies will appear, I wonder who. The enemy is metal. Um, let me quickly do that, maybe. Assist killer, but also... I don't know if I can kill it. I don't think it's going to give me... Oh, it gave me Metal Killer. Let's go with that. If I can kill the Starman, though, that might be useful. I can't remember what Starman does, actually, as an assist trophy. Ready, Ow, he just shoots lasers at me. Ow. 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 Oh, Launch Star. Launch Star will launch. If it's used by you, like if you place it, it helps you. If it's placed by somebody else, it will launch you off screen. Well, that didn't go well. Let's try that again. I don't think focusing on the Starman is a great good idea, so I'm going to focus on Ness, the Starman. Well, that worked. Cool. Psychic attack up. I'm all for that. It makes makes sense to me. I'm quite happy with this decision. Luma. Playing as Team Kirby. Cool, that makes sense. So let me switch out my team to blue. I mean green, that one. Any other rules? Nope, it's just a fight. Let's go fight. Kirby versus Kirby versus Kirby versus Kirby. Actually, it's no, it's actually just Kirby versus Kirby, 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 Kirby. It's a name you should know. It's the star of the show. Oh, give me. Give me. Oh, give me. Oh, star power. What is this? Is this my birthday? Come on, get over here. Goodbye. Launch star- <laughs> Super launch star equipped. Cool. So we can launch enemies off screen as soon as we start a fight. That might be slightly overpowered if you could actually get that to work properly. But it's probably not going to work in every fight, unfortunately. Ah, <sighs> Magalore. Playing as Robin. The screen will suddenly flip. The enemy's magic attacks have increased power. Um, screen flip. Immunity, easier dodging, I guess. Shouldn't be that bad. It's not the strongest, but it is still strong, so. But I am stronger. Ready, go. Ow. Screen flip immunity is a good thing. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa. Take that. Ow. Ow. Take that. 
Oh, also Kirby has the the meter on his on the side of his health bar thing now. Oh, cool! I actually can. Ow! I actually cannot. I can't. I'm dead. I'm dying. Help me. Ah! Can I please hit you? Thank you. Okay. That's actually some good rewards there. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time for more space. Subspace.